Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah, it's not. You can see it now. This is Ad Handler. PHP 5 script is the name of the handler, and this is the file extension. Now, PHP 5 script is the real handler name, but this is non intuitive. That's kind of, depending on your server installation, this handler can have a lot of names like PHP script, PHP CTI, XHTTP, PHP, and all kind of shit. And it, well, with my luck, I tried the right handler name as the last one. So I was uploading HTXS files for like 15 minutes trying different handler names. But anyway, so this is the right handler name. So let's select my HTXS file. And of course, we have to change the thing here to .htxs. So we now upload the file. And, well, the file has been uploaded. Its name is here, htxs. Of course, I cannot see it because Apache forbids read access to the htxs files. And what I can do now is, um, I have such that from shell. Well, pretty basic stuff. It's just, um, yeah, just invoke. Well, it first sends the console type text plane header, so we have nice formatting of new lines from Firefox, and then just pass through of the CMD get variable. So very, very simple shell. Um, so let's change the file one again. Let's just call it, um, that's the file name, shell. HES because HES is the file extension we specified the handler for. And now we have this uploaded and when you click it, it says warning, pass through, blah, 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 cannot shoot a blank command. Okay, well, of course. Um, now we specify some commands. And there we go. We have at least first access to the server. So uh, this is pretty annoying now, though, because we have to tunnel all our commands through um, the, the web shell. And also, um, uh, that's a cron job that cleans up this directory. And that was painful to find out. Um, so, um, well, if you played war games by Stephen before, you know that there's a, uh, or you're just social engineering on ISP until he tells you. <laughs> Um, you know that there's a directory slash etc slash path, uh, which contains different for different users the passwords, and you see here these are the owners. So um, this one is readable by www data, the one we exploited, and the file name is Josh. So of course, like in a classical war game, we have to escalate from user to user to user. So you can here already see we, we, uh, we need to uh, give a get George. From George, um, we can get to Carrie. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's not in there. We can get to Elaine and so on and so on. But anyway, so that's passwords in there. So we can just do this. Just output the file contents. Well, we can only read George, which is my first name, by the way. Uh, and there we have a password, and if you mf the host before, oh, well, you saw that SSH is open, and so uh, we have now a nice convenience. Uh, well, typing was one hand in the morning. Mm, we have a nice convenience cell. Okay. Yeah. So now we can have local fun. And, um, yeah, now it's someone else's turn to explain like stage two. If you don't want to, should I reveal something about stage two? So if you want to play this and you don't want to spoil it, go out now or cover your ears or something or you send on me. Just gonna leave a hint on, on level two because I noticed that it was hard to find. Um, look at the file structure in the home directory of George and you will find it. Uh, it's in the home directory of Elaine, uh, and the rest you can figure out on your own. Um, the uh, virtual or the uh, so-called admins of these servers are real 
idiots, and you will see that in the script that they write uh, and in the file that they make. So have fun. That's it.